the cell has is a muscle that lies it's one of your most deepest, most innermost muscles. It connects from your lower back, like L1 to L4, so the very lower back, it goes all the way through your abdomen, through your pelvis, from the inside of your leg. So it controls your spine, keeping it still, keeping it more supported, like it properly should be, in addition to picking up your leg for any kind of sprinting mechanics. What you want to focus in on this one is making sure that you keep the breath as deep as you can get it, and you want to make sure that the psoas is doing the work throughout the entire movement. There's three rules for this one. Rule number one, foot needs to be relaxed. So from the lying position here, step one, foot is relaxed. Rule number two, your leg needs to be in line. What that means is that when you look from the inside of your knee, you shouldn't see the inside of your leg or your foot. So if you look from this angle here, I don't want to see the inside of my leg here. When I look from here, I should see nothing. That number two rule is a good way to help you remember how to keep that leg in good alignment with everything else that you can. So, for relaxed, leg in line. Rule number three, you're going to keep in the opposite butt muscle turned on. So this butt cheek is turned on to signify like if I was in a standing position, one leg down, one leg up. You're going to start with a deep breath in. You're going to push against that leg, a little bit of tension against the skin. Focus on deep down there, that so is actually doing the work. If you push too hard, other muscles will work and try to cheat. So all you want to feel is going for that deep inner muscle doing all the work. At first, you may not feel it there, but the more you practice this, the more you get in tune with your body, the easier it will be to find. I like to visualize that pull happening from the back of my spine, from that lower back, and pulling all the way through the leg. So, deep breath in, hand against the leg, a little tension up against the skin. Deep breath in, you're going to come down for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Nice and slow, from that, those deep muscles, deep muscle muscles are working. You're going to do four of those. Then you can go four pushes coming up. Again, tension on the skin. Deep breath in. One, two, three, four. Always make sure you finish with that knee past your hip. The last one is going to be the combo where to combine those two together. So starting from the top. Deep breath in. One, two, three, four. And immediately back up. Up, two, three, four. So try not to pause at the bottom. Try to keep it consistent. So one more time. One, two, three, four. Up, two, three. So we do four pushes down, four pushes up, four combos. The more often you do this, the more in tune you'll get with where that muscle is. We can't see it, so it's hard to find. But your body knows how to use it, you just gotta remind it to start doing it again. If you start feeling like your hip is cramping up, your quad is cramping up, that means that you're probably pushing too hard. So don't worry about how hard you're pushing, just push just enough so you don't like what that so as doing the work. The better you get with that so as work, the more stable your spine will be, so all of your balance will improve. Also your speed mechanics and explosiveness will also improve.